I'm ready. Hello, everybody. Hey, thank you all for joining. Oh, thank you for the hearts. That's so sweet. That's so nice. So guess what? Um, I'm checking in with you. Hey, look, hey, Lakia, Arthur LB. I know that's you, right? Yeah, hey. Oh, thank you for the hearts. So a quick intro. I'm Shanika. Um, I'm Shanika McClarty, also known as Therapy Girl. And um, my purpose here on this earth is to help people recognize, reclaim, and use their personal power. Thank you for joining. And um, if you guys, as you come in, you can always um, listen to the replay, but I'm just getting started introducing myself. Thank you for joining and all of the hearts. Um, my name is Shanika, known as Therapy Girl. I'm a licensed therapist. But my purpose on this earth is to help people recognize, reclaim, and use their personal power. And most importantly, I am a faith addict. I know that my faith has brought me so far. So today, I, am, I have a couple of notes here, okay? Because I don't want to get off track and I don't want to be on here too long because I know everybody has something to do. But I just want you all to know that you're going to get scars, okay? Your knees will get scarred up along the way but you have to build it whatever gift is inside of you whatever skill and talent and dream is that is inside of you you must build it you must activate it okay do not give up because when you activate that skill that dream and that gift you will have a content and joyful life. But when you do not activate it, when you do not use it, you will not be happy. You will be a depressed person and you will start to look at other people and wonder how they did it and why God is blessing them when in fact he has already given you everything that you need to succeed, okay? So no matter what, you got to understand, even though you're afraid, you got to do it. So here are my notes. If you're going to build a business, start writing that book in O, Wife Society, that's on here, Arthur LB. She helps publish um, books and authors, so check her out. But if you have a book inside of you, if you have a business inside of you, um, if you want to start a new career, whatever it is, it will be hard. Just go on and face it. It is not going to be easy. It will be hard. But you must do it. So here it is. Your reward comes from seeing yourself move closer to your dream, closer to your goal. Your reward will also come when you serve other people with your gifts. Because that's why we're here. When we serve other people and share our gifts with the world, we are rewarded. It's not about the money, okay? I know you may feel like you need the money, but it's really not about the money. So understand that. So what do you do? How do you get started? The first thing that you do is write it down. I know a lot of people are really big with the vision boards and they have vision board parties. I know, um, LB, I know you do that too. She's on here though at the Wife Society if you, if you follow them. But just know that there's power in writing down, taking it from here and taking it from here and putting it in writing on paper. Yes, indeed. When you put your goal down in writing, you've actually released it into the universe. You've actually released it to the divine, to God, to actually take it and use it and really just blow your freaking mind. Okay? So when you write it down, that's the first step, write it down, cut out your papers, your, your magazine clippings or whatever it is and, and do your vision board if you want to, or you can just write your goals down, first step. Then I want you to identify the skills that you already have and the resources that are readily available to you to help you implement and get closer to achieving your goal, all right? You got to first know, what am I working with? If you want to write a book, you have to know, what do I want to write a book about? 
if I want to change careers, what do I want to do? People are saying, oh, Shanika, they come to, to therapy and they want me to tell them what their purpose is in life. No, I can help get you closer to it by some activities and some work and some homework. But truly, it's tapping into your personal power, your skills. Then I want you to connect with the people who can help you achieve your goals. That means you're working with a publisher, you're working with a ghostwriter, you're taking some acting classes, or you're, you're going back to school. Whatever it is you need to do, or you're, or you're revamping your resume. Don't just sit back and just say, I'm going to stay in my fear. I'm so afraid, but I really want to do it. Being afraid is not going to get you anywhere but where you are. Okay? So you have to push through it. And I'm telling you, I know it because I had to do it myself. So if you need to work with a business coach, work with a business coach. If you need to work with a financial planner, work with a financial planner. You have to do it. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. You will get scars. Scars on your knees, scars on your hand, many lonely nights where you're crying because you're trying to figure out how and when. And Lord, get me out of this. I want to, I want to move closer to my dream. But guess what? You have to build it anyway. You got to push through it anyway. Okay? So what if you're currently a business owner? Hello. Hi. What if you're, and thank you for joining. What if you are currently a business owner? Or you're currently working on your dream? Whatever that is. But you keep finding yourself, you're from Turkey. Hi, thank you for joining again. I think, I think you joined last week, so thank you for coming back. She's from Turkey. Hello, friend. What if you're doing your dream?